Believe it or not, guys, this actually trips a lot of people up in exams. How do we calculate the perimeter of the following circle? Now, why do I say this trips people up? Normally, we don't actually get asked to work out the perimeter of a circle. In the case of a circle, we actually call the perimeter something else. We call it the circumference. Now, this actually trips a lot of people up because as soon as they think of the perimeter of a circle, they think, wow, how do I work out the perimeter without realizing that the perimeter and the circumference are actually the same thing. The circumference is the length all the way around the circle, which is actually the definition of the perimeter of a circle. So how do we work it out? We use our formula for the circumference of pi d or 2 pi r. The reason that pi d and 2 pi r are the same thing is because the 2 times by the r means 2 times by the radius and 2 times by the radius is equal to the diameter. That's why pi d and 2 pi r are both interchangeable for this. In this case, we've been given the radius, we've been given the length from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle. So we're gonna use two pi r, we're gonna do two times by pi, times by our radius of seven. The units for this guys, it's the perimeter and we have our length here in centimeters. So it's going to be two times pi times seven centimeters. We're gonna leave this in terms of pi, two times seven guys is 14. So we can give our answer here as 14 pi centimeters. If we wanted to, we could bring it into the calculator. It would be roughly 43, 44, um, but we don't have to. In this case, we're just going to leave it in terms of pi.